everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner and Arlen's Travels. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is to tell you about my carry-on and what I take in my carry-on. Uh, I, I usually do my what's uh, my must-haves along with my carry-on one, but I want it to be shorter. I want this to be a shorter video so you don't have to sit for hours watching everything. I'll be coming up with my oh, my must-haves later in the week or in a few days, and I'll come up with, come out with that. I'm going to film it right now, but right now I just want to do well, just want to talk about my carry-on and what I carry in my carry-on. So let's get started. Now, if y'all saw my carry-on video, you know which which bag I'm taking as my carry-on this time. And this is a bag that Chris got me, uh, and I'll flash the name because I can't remember, Ted something, I can't remember the name right now. Oh my goodness, I'm a ding dong. But that Chris got me after our last cruise because we just couldn't handle the bag that I got and he felt like I needed a little rolly bag to go through the airports with. So this is what he got me. Now this is an expensive bag, you guys. I'm just full disclosure. I've never had anything like this in my whole entire life, you guys, not ever. I'm so grateful for it. Uh, but it is a little roll bag. It has a telescoping handle. It's got wheels and it's leather and it is very nice. So this is the bag I'm gonna be using for our next cruise. So, keep that in mind. First thing I need is my computer bag. So, this doesn't have a sleeve for a computer, so I have one of these, which is just a, it's a magnetic closure, and it's just, I think it's faux leather, you guys. I got it from Amazon. I will provide links for everything that I can in the description. I'm gonna be talking about a lot of Vera, throughout this and if I can find the specific Vera bags, I'll post a, post a description. Most of my links will probably either be through Amazon or through eBay. A lot of my bags are discontinued uh, or I got them at an outlet, an online outlet sale and they're not no longer available. So, but other patterns will be available in the same bag through Vera or eBay. So whatever links I give you are what I can find. So if you don't see a link in the description, you know I couldn't find a link. So but anyway, this, this is just a, a, a case for a 15 inch laptop. So I know this will go in to my carry-on because I take my laptop everywhere. <laughs> I am never without my laptop, you guys. It also serves as a hard drive for me. We take an external hard drive and we put all our pictures on that and we put them on my computer too, so that we're sure to not lose any of our pictures. Uh, some other things that I take, uh, I take one of these in my carry-on and I also pack an extra one in my checked baggage. This is an eight pocket organizing folder. And in this folder, I take my boarding passes, hotel information, travel insurance information, all of my important documents that I cannot be without. Emergency contact information, how to contact Princess, if I need to get in touch with them for some reason, if we have a delay in our travel, you never know what can happen. So all of that information will go in this folder. You can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pockets to fill. Then I also take, I'll actually be taking two more of these in my checked baggage to handle one for each cruise that we're gonna be on. So uh, this is an invaluable little tool for me to have. It keeps all of my pertinent information together and I'm sure not to lose it in here. This will go in my carry-on too. Then, tell y'all, when I'm on a plane going someplace, I don't wanna be taxed. I don't wanna have to use my brain. <laughs> you know, I use my brain enough. I don't need to have to use it on a vacation. I take my easiest pie crossword puzzle book. 
Amazon, you guys. These are so much fun. I love it because it has a spiral uh, binder on it. I, you know, when you open it up, you can turn it back, and it's, you're not ha you don't have a bumped up side that you're trying to write down and over and stuff. You know, easy as pie crosswords. I do not have a problem. I can fill up a puzzle, no problem. You know, I'm, I'm smart enough to, you know, do the whole crossword puzzle every time. I love it. Gives me something to do, keeps my mind busy, and does tax me a little bit sometimes, but I love it. Easiest pie crosswords. Love these books. I even got my dad a couple for Christmas. He sat here at Thanksgiving and, and went through a bunch, a bunch of these. So I got him a couple for Christmas because he was really enjoying them. So easiest pie crossword book. That goes in my carry-on. I usually take one cube. And I'm just going to show this. Uh, I usually, I, and I'm going to go through my cubes and my packet folder and all that stuff in, in my packing video. But uh, this is a new cube that I got Pam, my dear friend from the Alaska Cruises on Princess Group online, uh, found these on Amazon and they are like not only a cube, but they are a compression cube. They've got like a double, a double zip. Like if you unzip this, close it and unzip that part, you could have a cube just like this, which is usually what my shack pack cubes are are about this big you know but then once you get this packed and this is great for a carry-on you just compact it compress it these are compression packing cubes compress it down even further and then you're not going to have anything bigger than that perfect for a carry-on so I will probably put an extra pair of, you know, some unmentionables in here, maybe an extra top, just something to get me through if something were to happen. If we were to go to get stuck in an airport overnight, you know, I would just want something, you know, a little change of, you know, to freshen up a little bit. Let's just put it that way. So not much, but just a little something. So that will go in my carry on. And then I take my Kindle. I have a little Kindle. This is a Kindle uh, where that needs to be charged. Oh my goodness, I haven't read anything in forever. I'll give you a link for this though. This is an older version. So, and then, and I'll give you a, ver I'll give you a link for the cover if I can still find it. I think this is, a, I can't remember what the Kindle, I'll flash it up here. There's a name for this Kindle and I, uh, I love it. I love my Kindle. I don't have any recommendations for any books. To tell you the truth, because I haven't read any in a while, I'm going to have to be doing some research on that myself. But I take my Kindle, because I do, that's, that's about the only time I give myself time to read, you guys, is when I'm stuck in a plane. Honest to goodness. All the other times I'm working on videos, I'm commenting, responding back to folks, I'm, I'm a busy lady over here. So it's nice to be able to sit down and read a book. So I've got that. So I will take that my Kindle. And then the rest of these, oh, I'll take my quart Ziploc bag. If you look at up in the TSA and their uh, rules, every, all liquids that I take, you can only take liquids three ounces and below, and, uh, and those liquids need to be in a Ziploc bag. So I will take one quart bag, and this is the only liquid that I really have is just a hand sanitizer and warm vanilla sugar from uh, Bath and Body Works. And I might have a, a, a lotion to put in there and who knows what else. I don't know. Right now, that's all I have in here. Then I take little ear buds. Uh, Chris got me these. I don't even know how they work. I think they're Bluetooth. But they, they're nice little jobbies. And uh, I used to take big earphones. And I don't want to lug them with me. I want to just take something small and compact. So these are from one more. If I can find a link for you, I'll get it so y'all can look it up and see what they're all about. So check the description. Then I have a few little bags here that I take. I take just one little cosmetic bag. This is a small cosmetic bag from Vera. And I just have a compact, a compact, you know, mirror. Then I've got some Advil and some Tylenol 
and I have a hair clip in here right now and I've got just some you know uh, little toothpicky things you know to clean our teeth and I know I'll come across some washy stuff from Colgate I think I have that I'll put in here and this is just, you know, just something to get my lipstick will go in here, you know, um, a powder compact probably will go in here. Just something to get me to my destination if I need to freshen up, you know, and that's it. So that'll go in my carry-on. Then this, I have a, this is a double cosmetic bag, I believe, and I'm going to use this bag for, it has two, uh, two zippers, one there and then one in the front. And I'm gonna use this for my cords, for my computer charger, phone cords, extra batteries, uh, uh, whatever else I need. Uh, I might take a, an external battery. We always take an external battery, each of us, so that we don't have to go find where to plug in our phones or where to plug in our, you know, I ha we have it with us, we have an external battery. I don't have one over here. But, uh, we always take external batteries with us. I think that's super important, especially if you're stuck in an airport. I know our, our, one of our layovers this time is three hours. You know, so I want to be able to charge my computer right where I'm sitting. I don't want to have to go and carry everything and, you know, try to find a place to plug in. So I think that's important, an external uh, battery. So also I have a glasses case for my reading glasses and sunglasses. And a little wallet. Uh, just little, just little, nothing major. Just a little wallet just to put a credit card in, some money. Uh that's about it you know i'm not going to take my I'll, I'll pack my passport separately I'm not then gonna... i have just this little case this is a brush case i think and i just have my pins in here you know extra pins and then i take this little bag and this is the holder of my business cards not that i sell anything but uh I do have business cards just to show people. I get to talking to people and to show them how to get to my YouTube channels. So I do take some cards with me. And that's, that about, that is about it, y'all. That's about what I take in my carry-on. So I try not to pack it real heavy. I don't take whole outfits. I don't take pairs of shoes. You know, I don't take anything like that. I, I may throw a jacket in there if I think I'm gonna be cold, but I usually wear a blazer or a jacket on the plane because I'm always cold on planes, and they'll give you a blanket if you need. But I usually I usually will wear either a long sleeve or three quarter leg sleeve jacket with me, just like, or just like a blazer to go with any outfit that I'm wearing, you know. Yeah. Alrighty, that's it for my carry on, you guys. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, and I hope you're enjoying this little bit of a shorter video uh, with just talking about the carry on by itself. So, uh, let me go into some final words here. And again, for those of you who might just be watching me on Arlen's travels for the first time, I have another YouTube channel called Arlen's country craft corner. And that one, I have, a, a few more, <laughs> uh, subscribers on. And I always, I've gotten into the habit I felt like they were given to me, actually, of saying some final words. So bear with me here as we go through these final words, and, and maybe there's somebody out there who might need to hear them. So let me just say that, again, thank you all for stopping by, and I hope there's no one out there struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain. And if you are, I hope you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around. And I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all of that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good Good care. Bye-bye.